Hi, I'm Brandywine curator Amanda Burden. If you visit the Brandywine around this time of year, you know about the museum's traditional holiday displays, which include the perennial favorite model train layout and a variety of dolls and dollhouses. Inside the art collection, however, you'll find dolls of a different sort, paper dolls. This is the original watercolor of a paper doll plate by Grace Drayton. She was the creator of over 200 paper doll plates featuring the popular character Dolly Dingle. Here in this 1926 drawing, we see Dolly's friend Toddy, who comes with a wardrobe that is fit for all kinds of events. Toddy stands in profile in her pinstriped underclothes, waiting to be dressed in a prim blue school uniform accompanied by a modern hat. She also has a day dress with a gold and green print and neckerchief. Her accessory for this outfit is a Pekingese dog named Peaky. Her third outfit is labeled as a bridesmaid's dress with layers of frill, a bouquet, shoes with flower decorations, and a tall bonnet with bows and flowers, which probably made her look like little Bo Peep. The doll may look familiar to you for a few different reasons. Maybe you played with these paper dolls as a child or with the three-dimensional toy versions of them that were later manufactured. Maybe you recall seeing a similar character drawn by Drayton on the suffrage Valentines on view in the recent Votes for Women, a Visual History exhibition. But it's much more likely that this doll reminds you of the Campbell's Soup Kids, who Grace Drayton first drew in 1904. Drayton attended Drexel Institute and the Philadelphia School of Design for Women and was a member of Philadelphia's female art organization, the Plastic Club. Her husband was an advertising executive, and prior to a meeting with the Joseph Campbell Company, he asked his wife to draw a few characters for a proposed campaign. The kids were a hit and became powerful brand ambassadors for America's favorite soup for over a century.